Good morning, it's James. I do hope and pray this message finds you and your loved ones peaceful, thriving, and well. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy. And yes, today I'm not shooting from the treehouse. I'm shooting from my home gym. I'm hoping this backdrop of exercise balls and dumbbells and stuff <laughs> can uh, add a little bit more power and inspiration to the day's message. And um, when I read this message this morning, I immediately thought of my childhood. Um, through my teens into my early 20s, um, most of you know I suffered very much with depression, anxiety, addiction, and um, there were many times in my life I didn't want to be on the planet. So um, I was really, really going through it. And I really do believe that one of the most powerful things at that time, I didn't know what the power was, but I just knew um, it seemed like the, it, a life preserver or even just a, uh, something I could hold on to each and every day, and that was exercise. It was a buoy. It was uh, a place I knew I could go to help me stay afloat. And, um, and this study just made me think about how powerful exercise was in my life back then without even knowing this kind of research and certainly the things we've learned uh, about exercise and mental health. But um, this is interesting and I wanna share this with you and I really wanna make sure you know, this is not me suggesting that um, exercise is better than counseling or exercise is better than medication or more effective. I'm just sharing the message, which, you know, could be that this may be the way it all works for many of us, if not more than many of us. So exercise can be more effective than counseling or medication for depression. This according to 1,039 clinical trials that were reviewed by the British Journal of Sports Medicine. 1,039 clinical trials with over 120,000 people. Now, I really wanna make sure you know this is just me reporting, because I don't want this to come out and say, hey, you know what, stop counseling, stop medication. That is not what this is about. I think I'm really more suggesting, please introduce or keep exercising if you are in a space where you're going through counseling, you're dealing with depression, you're taking medication, please integrate exercise, because oh my goodness. So again, they reviewed over a thousand studies when they found out, found out it was uh, 120 minutes a week, which breaks down about 21 minutes a day. So it's, a, it's, it's not a little, but it's not that much. And they found a direct correlation with the higher intensity and the more brisk or with level of you know, intensity that we went to exercise with, it was that much more effective. So basically what they found out, it was 1.5 times more effective than counseling or medication. So that's awesome. And also I think it's very much in a place where we look at our present situation in life, whether we're going through a mental health challenge, whether it's a daily part of our life and we're looking for things that we can be doing to augment overall health and well-being and optimism, resiliency. And there's no question exercise is hugely important and really, really powerful. And I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about what happens with short-term exercise we know there's an increase in endorphins, it's like the runner's high, the walker's high, the weightlifter's high, the yogi's high, um, you know, increase in dopamine, serotonin, decrease in cortisol, that's really wonderfully self-evident in the short term. But in the long term, we're seeing the brain literally change. We're seeing neurogenesis, we're seeing a, a greater volume of neurotransmitters, and we're also seeing something, ability to kind of move around default mode network, which is basically changing the way we think, changing the way we look at ourselves, changing the way we perceive ourselves and the world, and that's happening. So structurally, our brain is changing. That's the long-term benefit. So this study basically was saying the benefits were there for people starting around six weeks. Six to 12 weeks was the awesomeness where they really saw the benefits take hold. So um, man, I just want you to know, coming from someone who um, exercises every single day. It's my, it is one of my drugs of choice. It is an, a non-negotiable. And I look back at my childhood and say, thank God, um, I discovered movement. Didn't know what I was doing. I just knew I felt better doing it. And I never, never, ever stopped. I think that's a huge part of why my life is the way it is today. And I'm so deeply grateful for sweating my prayers each and every day. So I hope this helps you to reinvigorate your commitment to movement, and I hope it helps you to share with someone who we all know could benefit from this practice as well. Thank you. Much love, every blessing. Bye for now.